it's got some juice. Still smells like something's burning. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the Dodge Ram 3500 that we're building for our pops. And as you've seen in the previous video, we figured out our entire cooling system and we went ahead and put this truck completely back together with a few dress up pieces in the engine bay. I gotta say this sucker is starting to come together, but we still got a little bit more to go. And what we're trying to do is actually get this sucker prepped for the very first test drive and even get it prepped for paint. But before we start working, we do want to run to the dealership and actually pick up a few missing pieces like this little trim piece here, as well as our power steering cooler and a few final touches pieces. We did make a list right here. So we got a few more little finishing touches like some badges, some inner fenders and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and head that way and see what we can come up with. All right, so we made it here to the dealership and we are checking it out for one last time, right? This should be the very last time. Yeah, we're just looking at a few finishing pieces that we need, like the battery trays and all that good stuff, how they fit. And also the windshield washer reservoir because we really need one and uh, we had to order the newer one. So we should be good there. And all the other things, I think we, we got everything. Dude, dude, we got everything. Our truck is starting to look like this truck on the inside. Just, oh yeah. This one is just a little bit more mint. But anyways, we're gonna go inside, order everything that we need and catch you guys back at home let's do it all right so we are finally back and i gotta say our engine looks just the same like that other truck over there theirs was a little bit more mint but you know what nothing that a little bit of detailing supplies can't take care of and also we did forgot to mention that we did order inner fenders as well just basically all the finishing touches and we did have some pieces that came in check this out right here it's that trim piece and it's just going to complete this front end because I hate looking at it like that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, dude. This is just going to complete it. Oh, go ahead and snap it in. It's on clips, man. This is... Dude, Ooh. man, that looks sick. As for the wiring harness for this headlight, we just ordered the same exact harness that we got, that we used for this, that we snipped or whatnot. It'll come in in a couple of days and we'll take care of that. But anyways, as of right now, we've never got our very first test drive in and we've been really meaning to do that. Plus this sucker is on E. So we're just gonna drive it to the gas station, see how it does with no alignment and just out of fresh out of a wreck. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and fill the whole entire tank up with some fresh diesel. And just, just like you said, no alignment, no nothing. It's been wrecked. So let's go see how it handles on the road, dude. Let's do it. All right, and we are off. Very first test drive so far. 10 miles an hour, very smooth, no problems. No <laughs> steering wheel shake, no death wobble, none of that. None of that, man, just smooth. We just gotta pick up some speed a little bit. Dude, I thought it was smoky in here. I was like, what's burning? But that was actually like the weird sun glare. But anyways, here we go. You're good on this side. Let's pick up some speed, boys. All right, here we go. And you let me know what you think. We are very low on fuel, though. We may run out. Good, good pressure on the boost. Dude, smooth, man. She's super smooth. Still smells like something's burning. That's because we were welding outside for a long time and a little bit of the smell came in here, but yeah, it definitely did. But I, I don't think, I mean, so far everything's good. The coolant temperature. Oh, it's smooth. This sucker is boosting away. Whoa. Smooth, man. Dude, the steering wheel or nothing, dude. We may just need a little bit of alignment, but that's about it, dude. This thing is, this thing is nice, man. We might have to take it to alignment rack tomorrow because it is kind of late in the day. Yeah, but dude, dude seems smooth. As good. a passenger, I'm just having a nice little Cadillac ride. I mean, it's smooth. Look at the interior, nice and comfortable seats, man. This thing feels like a 2020. You know what I mean? It does. A lot of people are saying to do like the nice LCD display here, which we might do that. 
if, uh, if we can find something for a great deal or if we can just find something that just will plug and play. I yeah, think they have definitely. That. Dude, that would be awesome to get something like that. But other than that, dude, Let's it's all about the power right now, dude. dude. Smooth shifting on the transmission. We did check all the fluids as well, right? Oh, yeah, everything's good. All the engine oil, the transmission oil, or fluid, everything. Dude, we are good. We added man. some coolant. All we need to do is add some diesel, which we're about to do. And all right, so I'm noticing the coolant temperature is at 177. What's the normal temperature for? Like 200, I think. Yeah, probably like 200 or something. I mean, it's under 200 right now. 200 is the middle, so we just have to just see if it goes anything above that. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's go ahead and try to make it to this gas station. So. Or not gas station, diesel station. What diesel I station. About? I mean, we're past empty, dude. I'm surprised this truck is still going, but you know these Cummins right here, man, they just keep on ticking, dude. They're good, and, and diesel prices are good right now, so let's go get some. Let's do it. All right, so we made it here to the gas station. We were filling this sucker up because fuel is pretty dang cheap. How much is it over here? $2.30. That's pretty dang good. $2.30 for a diesel and $1.54 for gas, man. It couldn't be any better, but... We just went ahead and filled it up full, and I noticed that our fuel level is not working. Right? Yeah, it was completely empty, and we just put nine gallons in it. It's all the way to the top right now, and our gauge is at the bottom, so we probably have something, something, something up right there. Sort of wiring issue, but anyways, I guess we're just going to head back home and try to figure it out. Let's do it. So we have arrived, and I gotta say, dude, this thing is smooth, man. Super smooth, man. It's uh -huh. like a Cadillac, man. That's what I was just saying. Uh, that's what I was saying earlier. I almost want to say that it's smoother than the F450. It, it probably is just a little bit, dude. Like the on the bumps and stuff, or it's probably just the seats or something. Seats, I don't know, man. I think it's because the F450 is a little bit heavier, thus making yeah, more like. And it's a bigger truck. Bigger and, truck. And it all depends on the tires and stuff. You know, those tires and the wheel setup. You oh, know, yeah, that's right. The like, tire has a really big difference because those oh, yeah. are like straight up like semi tires. This yeah. is more like street tires. Oh, yeah, know? something like that. But anyways, dude, she is nice and smooth. We got some check engine light that we got to just go through, check it out. We're having a few little codes that pull up. So I'll say let's just go through all of them and see what we can come up with. Alright, so we were finally able to clear all the codes on this truck and the weird thing is the very first time that we plugged the scanner into it, it wouldn't allow us to clear anything, all the codes were permanent, and then we decided to check all the ground, sand them up real nice and make sure they were nice and tight, plugged into it once again and surprisingly we were able to clear everything, there's no check engine light or anything like that, so I'm guessing we just had a bad ground connection or something, and the only thing that's not working right now is actually our gas gauge is still at one fourth when we got a full tank in there, and also the keyless start or the remote start is not working. I'm guessing it's because we do got an airbag light, so we do got a brand new airbag. We'll change that out here in a little bit, but as of right now, we're pretty much ready to start prepping this sucker for paint, start wet sanding it, but before we start wet sanding, we do want to give it a nice wash because there's a lot of contamination on it, and we just want to pretty much degrease it and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead, pull it closer to that garage there and clean this sucker up. So we just gave this thing a wash, but we actually went to the gas station one more time because I just wanted to experience this thing before we start tearing it apart and start sanding it and all that good stuff. 
Because you just talked me into it. You're like, dude, you got to test you, this. You got to drive it, man. Out, man. It's so smooth in the passenger seat. Imagine in the driver's seat. You know what I mean? I'm almost thinking we shouldn't do the mods that we got planned for, but I don't want to spoil too much, but let's no, see. No, we're probably just going to go ahead and send it with all the mods. Exactly. We got some sweet things coming for this thing, but. Okay. Okay, it's got some juice. Yeah, it's definitely got some juice on it. And you can hear a little bit of that, you know, the stock turbo sound, you know, with the, everything, the stock exhaust and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can hear that little yeah. I'm trying to make the exact same sound, but yeah, it sounds, sounds good. good. <laughs> but we're going to do a cold air, of course, and some other little that's, things. That's good that's enough. That's good enough, yeah. That's good enough. It's going to sound a lot better, but anyways, I love how this thing handles. almost love it. love it more than the Ford almost. The Ford just got that perfect can't sound. say that, man. I know, man. I but this is a really nice truck, you know, for 2012, you know what I mean? It almost feels like the the 2020, you know? <laughs> Dude, it's smooth. Maybe we could even upgrade the shocks to make it smoother, maybe like some Fox or anything like that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and head back home and start setting, show you guys how we're going to start sanding this thing, actually. All right, guys, so we are back. Now that we got this truck all nice and clean, looks super sharp, we're going to go ahead and talk about our painting process and what we're going to paint. So we're definitely going to be repainting this whole entire front end along with these grill pieces over here. These are all getting painted. Everything that's like this primer color is getting painted along with the ram emblem and the little ram pieces that go in the inserts. But the grill itself that's already painted high gloss black, we're going to leave because I think that's just going to look really good. And as for our blending process, we are going to be blending onto the door. So both doors are going to have to be sanded. And uh, we're probably going to have to blend the blue just onto the door and not to this pillar because the paint already matches really closely. So you won't be able to tell. But for these big surfaces, you definitely have to blend them. And as for our silver, silver over here as well, we're going to have to do a two-tone paint. So we're going to blend a little bit onto here as well as our fender flare. So all that's getting painted silver, which we still need to go buy this silver. We don't have the paint code just yet, but we should get it here soon. But so the first thing that we're going to start with is basically taking apart both of these doors, taking the mirrors, the emblems, the door handles and all the little trim pieces. And then once we take them completely apart, we're just going to go ahead, grab some sandpaper and start sanding this whole entire thing down. So we just completely tore apart this door right here, but there is a few more little things that we need to do. And actually we need to run to the store and grab some supplies in order to remove all that adhesive right there. But before we do so, the weather is getting kind of bad and we need to put up our livestock. And before we put up our livestock, I want to show you guys the newest members to the livestock right here. Look at these exotic ducks. I don't know what type of duck they are, but they are just the cutest thing in the world. They're like, look at their beak, got a black beak, black web feet. This thing is just so cute. And they're a little bit more like they're friendly friendly dude. exactly that's the word i was looking for they're we not got, afraid four of them dude which okay. all four are different types of colors dude man i can't wait till they grow up man it's gonna be so awesome just watching them grow up mm -hmm. hey we may have to build a pond for them dude we may have to just go dig one out hey man we're not just good at rebuilding cars here dude we're good at building other things too you might have to see that in the future but anyways we're gonna go ahead and put them up as well as the other livestock there and we're gonna run to the store All right, so we finally found the tool that we need right here. We got an adhesive eraser wheel. We've never actually used one like this, so let's just go ahead, head back to the house and test it out. Let's do it.
All right, so we finally got both doors completely torn apart and all the adhesive completely removed. And I gotta say, this tool definitely came in handy and saved us a lot of time. And we even unwrapped this door pillar right here. As you can tell, it was a matte black or a satin black. We're actually gonna change that to a nice high gloss black. I think it's gonna look really good with these tinted windows. It's gonna pretty much look like one solid piece of glass. So that's gonna be really cool right there. But anyways, it is finally time. Let's go ahead and grab our sanding supplies, our bucket of water and get to sanding. We finally got this door and this fender completely sanded. And as for this door, we are trying to be very careful and that is because we are only blending to about this area right here. And if we do sand through here, we'll have to throw paint and that'll just ruin our whole entire blend. But it looks like we knocked it out perfectly. Nice matte finish all the way throughout. Same goes for the fender, same finish, but it did sand a lot quicker because that is a fresh clear coat right there. And the next thing that we're gonna move on to is our hood. And then after that's knocked out, we're probably gonna move on to the other side. We actually pulled the truck inside because it did start raining on us but we got the hood and the rest of this side all completely wet sanded now all we got left is basically the front trim pieces here so we'll have to remove the bumper and the headlights and a few other things that way we don't scratch anything while we're wet sanding so let's go ahead and pull all that stuff off and completely finish up wet sanding everything Alrighty guys, so we finally got everything wet sanded, all the little trim pieces and all. We do got a little bit more touch ups on this fender around that headlight, but that headlight and that grill will have to get removed, but we're probably just gonna continue tomorrow in the morning. But before we go, you might've noticed us wearing our brand new Goon Squad hoodies. These suckers are super fire. This is our brand new white on black camo. We've never ran anything like this before. And I gotta say, this is probably my new favorite hoodie. It's super comfortable. It's just like the perfect fit and it's super stylish as well. And as usual, these suckers are very limited and they're gonna run out quick. So if you wanna help support your boys, definitely be sure to visit goonsquad.com and cop you one. Next day here, guys, and we're just gonna finish up doing all of our final touches. As we mentioned before, we gotta take care of this fender edge and we're gonna look over anything else that we might have missed and even these fender flares that we completely forgot about but we're super excited because once this stuff is knocked out that's going to be the last of our wet sanding and it's just going to get us one step closer to getting this entire truck painted and the way that we're going to paint this truck is going to be unlike anything we've ever painted before it's definitely going to be inside of a paint booth and even here at the house but we're going to save that for the next video but anyways as of right now let's go ahead and pop off some of these front end pieces and finish up doing our finishing touches
All right, so we are done and everything is 100% wet sanded. And I gotta say in the next video, you're probably gonna see this truck fully painted and everything put back together. And then we're gonna start doing some other things that we have planned for it. So we're super excited about that. So make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. And don't forget about these hoodies. They're gonna fly off the shelves pretty dang quick. So if you wanna help support your boys, definitely be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy one. But with all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.